Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's see where this goes. So everybody's crawling out of the pits. Back into... Whoa, that's a good shot. Maybe. We're back in the dome again. After imagining a whole life outside of it for years. So I guess they do they still have the same memories? Right, it's not gonna be that easy to get out of that thing. It's not just gonna magically go away. The dome was gone. We were free. What did you do after I died? <laughs> it's real. Oh. What happened? Trump marks. Ooh, he tried to see tried to punch it. That was cool. I like how they showed that. I did, I moved on, I got rid of you. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, god I damn it. You. you should be thanking me. Three weeks. That's how long you and I were in those cocoons. Uh, this is the, the point. Thing interesting. I remember was us finding that egg. I'm trying to figure out who they are. I was an apologist. What? But in that world, I was an aid worker. How'd they get sucked into this whole thing, Acteon though? Acteon, Acteon. that's uh, the dance company. No, I'm... <laughs> I don't trust her completely. I don't know if she is, but... You're in a simulated reality. Like, the Matrix. Yes. <clears throat> mm, awkward. It's like they developed the relationship while inside of the thing. They're dead. Their cycle came to an end. And unlike you, they won't be brought back to life. Yeah. Lead yeah. the people to be cocooned. They're still working so together. The yeah. Could infuse them with the life force. When we touched it, we gained a complete understanding of the dome's agenda. Survive and propagate. Who's but she? I touched the egg first. The queen Oxytocin. It's a mood regulator. It, plus the alternate reality, was essential to shape these humans into a functioning collective. She calls them humans. So, get... Except so she's not human. I'll assess the townspeople <laughs> and determine how much work is left to do. You handle Julia. If she shows up, kill her. Whoa. That ain't, that ain't happening. Abby. Right back here in Chester's Mill. <clears throat> I think we're going to listen to you, Jim. You ran this <clears throat> town into the ground. You're the biggest threat this town's ever seen. Oh. Barbie. No. Oh. Hey, we don't each other. Oh, this, is, yeah, this is really awkward. So the, all the, the past relationships they had, the relationships they had in the cocoon are, are now part of their lives. I'm Christine Price. They still remember them. This was yeah. Chester's Mill. But you're not. I'm a therapist. I help this town recover from a trauma. I thought you were an anthropologist. After me. After all I did for you in those well, caves. That doesn't undo everything else. <laughs> Chester's Mill's still better off without you. Oh, is it? Looks like everyone's shaking up. Except for Christine Price. <laughs> yeah, what does he have to be right? He does make a point. Oh, Joe, you can build traps. Well, isn't there food at Andrea's house? Not in the root cellar. Oh yeah, you freaking killed Andrea. Here in this building. Well, people here. Who the heck is Abby? You think you could start a support group? Why would I do that? <laughs> Your AA experience in the prison. You could apply it here. Whoa. That's not right. No! Mm -hmm. My father and I can't be back under this dome with him again. <laughs> I'd rather be dead. But it wasn't real. Bottom. Gotta get here before you're ready to change nature we're here to get food and then we have to take it back and set it up for everyone first you volunteer to slip cans and now you're throwing a dinner party for town you hate zeta let's grab us some cans of corn do you know what sorority you just did i saw him when we were back at the memorial as an anthropologist she would know people she would know societies big jim is the one that that lady gotta watch out for did you love her it wasn't but it wasn't real I'm gonna keep looking for Melanie. Oh shit, that, that freaking dog. What is it? What? A camera? Poor Andrea. She never does get shot fight. like that. I would lead us. It's weird how they just pretend like that was part of their lives. You? Know. you have my gun. You can't babysit me forever. It's good to see you again, James. 
Yeah. So I guess the dome stopped shrinking then. But I'm here. Yeah, do that on your own, dude. Oh, this is a dangerous. Finish what you started. I used to think Barbie's got the right idea that it's not real. So if it's not real, is that Ben? Yeah. Don't forget, that's the reality. That's the real shit. That's what happened. Got strangled to death in cocoons. Yeah. Woo! Damn, just in time. Okay. Nick was bruised just like yours. I because she killed him here. I'm sorry I left you alone. And I fell in love with her. Yeah, but it wasn't real, you know? You still can, you gotta still say that part, it wasn't real. Wait, who's on the, who's on the chair? What the hell did you do with Andrew? Oh yeah, cause she's still, that's she her, that's Andrea, she's here. still there. She covered her and moved her. <laughs> Trash. Ever smelled a dead body? I've known her my whole life. Why are they, they seem really weird or not? <laughs> yeah. She can touch it. Whoa. I don't think I don't think that was the same person who uh, after the egg. The oh shit. He wasn't in the cocoon. There's something wrong with them. All of them. It's like, it's like they're it's like they're on some kind of drug. Like body snatches or something. But how come some of them seem more normal than others? I don't know. Oh Jesus! What the hell? Oh, what the hell? Ah! I should have just couldn't do like the others. Things would have been so much better. Holy shit. What? To make her look like an ally or something? What the hell? Holy crap. Melanie gets to die like three times, I swear. What happened? Master manipulator. And she told, she told Melanie to go kill her. So she go kill her to make herself look good. Six they both time. died. What the hell? And when Melanie came back to life, he lost his sister, yeah. and he lost his father. I mean, he didn't care much about his for his father anyway. But for now, he doesn't know what to make of all this. It comes out. It's something else. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. There you go. He's not going to show it. He should show it to her. Damn Listen, it! I'm right about them. Just like I was right about everything else. Very interesting way to go. The dog and join him. <laughs> the dog knows what's up. Barbie's previous that that chick she was with was that way. No, no, wait. Oh, somebody's house was out there. Yeah, it was her mom's house. The life force has taken root. Yeah, he's a lot, he, for some reason he wasn't as effective. Others must be pruned away. Oh, uh, even he got even, they're not immune by it. How come, how come Joe is able to get past that? It's not over. We thought it was over when she got the cause It's not over. I like where this is going. So that is season three, episode two, Redux under of Under the Dome. I like where this is going. I like where this is going. I, I was I was um, a little worried at first because something was just fell off about the people. That's exactly what the, they wanted you to think, though. I thought it was kind of weird that everybody was pretending like their year, their fake year inside the cocoons was real, right? And that they um, you know, they are. Uh, it was part of their lives. Like, oh, I, I spent time as an AA inside the cocoon. You know what I mean? Are you crazy? It was a matrix reality. It doesn't exist. What does she know about being a, a being, about being a, th a therapist or whatever? Whatever you experienced in those cocoons was manufactured to, for for you to, to whatever the heck, you know. I thought it was just a drug. Like, I mean, not a drug, but, you know, like, like a, yeah, like, like a drug sort of a, like they got addicted to the to the. I thought it was just that they were addicted to the, the cocoons, you know, that they had become, um, like the the life that they had experienced in those things was so good. It's because it was the perfect life that they could have had, and so when they, um, you know, yeah, it was like the perfect life was in that was in that cocoon. So when they got ripped out of it, they're trying to, they still they want it back because yeah, you want it back. It was the perfect life. But it wasn't real. You have you hadn't earned that real life. You know, life is a mixture of things. So it it's it's I would I would deny any reality that it was just perfect. Too good is too good to be true. 
there's a little bit of, you know, you got to be a little bit uh, uh, pessimistic there. You got to expect something bad to go out to happen. Not, not everything turns out the way you want it to in real life. Uh, and so, so the, the, the fact that, you know, they were just accepting it as it was part of their lives is such a weird idea, but I get it now. It's, it's actually, that was actually part of the plan here. Um, it looks like she was trying to do something to them, complete some kind of a cycle. Like the butterfly, like 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 what Big Jim said, but it wasn't finished. So she's still. But it turns out the job is still being completed. Very interesting. Cause I thought that was gonna be it, but it turns out that whole cocoon thing was there for a reason. And I mean, the plot is still moving. It's still going on. She's now got them under the spell, and she's slowly weaning them into this world of hers. James being probably the first one to actually do it. He just went a level. He was he was so susceptible to whatever she wanted that. It was easy for her to, to take him, uh, completely just take him over under her spell. Barbie is still fighting it. I, 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 although it looks like at the end that he was, he was just gonna walk. He just, he was just part of the whole thing already. But I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I, I think that they will all eventually fight against it. Barbie was almost out. He was fighting against it inside the cocoon. So I feel as though, given enough time, he'd be able to. He'd be able to break away from it. The, it's, 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 I, I have hope for that. It's interesting that Joe would would be the one to, he 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 broke away from it, but 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 uh, no, he can't. I think I don't know. I really don't think that's actually what she wanted. They were both in the cocoons, but for some reason it's easier for Joe to break away from it. Maybe because his perfect life was Sam dying and he didn't get that. It's harder for him to get away from it. Or maybe. Maybe those who experienced loss like he did with Angie, he can't just break away from that reality. You know? She didn't experience... Well, she she lost her mom. I don't know. But maybe, maybe something about Joe just requires him to... I, I like that there's a... It's like the individuality of the characters. Some just have like a stronger will, I guess. And then you have Julia and Big Jim. The only two characters who never... Who would have been Junior as well, but he didn't. He ended up in a cocoon. They're the only two, uh, only, 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 Jim, only Big Jim and, only Big Jim and um, Julia were not in cocoons. So they are free from the, well, well, they are freed from the cocoon's influence of all that happened to those people. So they can see the world clearly. Everybody else is susceptible to something. And I can't believe it, but Big Jim is right. He's the one, he's the only one who now understands things. Clearly, I guess because since since his wife died, he's now seen everything clearly. Uh, strangely enough, and unfortunately, he's hated by so many people now, and he's the one who you probably want to listen to at this point. So he couldn't stop it. So I guess he just kind of left. And I love I, I like that scene though at the boat where he said he told him, you know, he because a part of you could you know if, uh, it, it would it would look like the son is doing what you would think he would do, which was. He's trying to get away from the dad. I understand that. He's been trying to do that for forever. But the way he did it was wrong. It just didn't seem right. And I like how Big Jim called him on that. He told Julia that that's not my son. I know my son, and that's not him. Whistling away while he burns the place. What the hell is that? That's not it. I loved his metaphor about butterflies. And that was creepy. That it goes in as a but it goes in as a caterpillar, but it comes out something else. They're not just messed up psychologically from what happened they have come out with some kind of you know what, what did she have she had like a uh, like a like a the oxytocin stuff was some kind of a mod was a uh, behavior modifier or something she's changing their brain waves or something like that or changing the way they think making them susceptible to whatever she's doing she's already got them all listening to the same signal and all that she's slowly going to integrate that world uh, back into their brains or something and they're going to become she's like the queen bee and they're going to become all these ants of hers or something you know I don't know but uh, it doesn't seem like she's the same person who went in I think that she was an anthropologist right and then when she touched the egg she became something else completely that's not her anymore maybe the, maybe the lady that actually died for all we know whoever it is needs a human it seems like they need a human body to do what they got to do. So they took over hers and used it to start this whole system. And I don't know what she was supposed to do, but she's going to, I think she's going to try and complete it over the next, over the rest of the season. And now we got this whole, you know, 
Big Jim and Julia. Julia's gonna have to. Fi- she'll figure it out eventually. What the hell is what the hell is really happening? But right now, you know, it, it's not. It doesn't look like it because uh, the lady saved her life, Christine or whatever her name is. She saved her life, so it's gonna look kind of bad on. She's not gonna want to betray her anytime soon. I don't know how she's gonna be able to see through it, but she will. And I think she's gonna end up working with Big Jim by the end of this. As they they have to work together to free the rest of the town. I hope Barbie can fight through that because he was one of the he was one of the ones fighting the hardest. And Ben, poor Ben, that's what they gotta do. Everybody gotta see Ben down there, and that should remind them of what was real. All that shit they went through and everything that wasn't real. This is real. Look at what happened to Ben. That's what was gonna happen to you, you guys, or something like that. Oh, but this is cool. I like how this like body snatches plot is coming through. It's interesting. It it gives them all uh, something to. It changes all of their characters from the last season, and now you've got this. The, the 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 threat is within the dome itself. I don't understand. I thought the dome was still was still shrinking. I guess it stopped. They never. I, I don't think they ever explained that it wasn't. Because wasn't that the reason why they were going in the hole in the first place? Because the dome was shrinking. It's kind of weird because it just like kind of it just stopped shrinking, and now it's 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 not. Uh, I feel like they never explained that. But whatever. I'm cool. Uh, I'm I'm good with it. The, the um, I'm just gonna go. I just, I just go with that as if we can stop. But the um, Joe, uh, no, I, I like all the, I, I like how you could just tell something was wrong with these people. Like they were being written differently, and um, and it turns out, yep, they they are being written differently. Something is just like the way the way they were the way they just chew Andrea out and all that on the, on the freaking porch and all that, and they tried to they tried to wave it off like it was nothing, right? But but yeah, Joe realized something was wrong with that whole thing. So I think we got Joe and Julia will figure it out. Big Jim. Everybody's scattered right now, but they're gonna start coming together. All right, all right, this is gonna be really cool. I like I like this. This is really interesting. It's really it really body snatches kind of a feel to it. It's really cool. I wonder what the dog is gonna have to do with everything. Anyway, I'll see you guys then in the next one. Um as we continue this uh, under, uh, under the Dome's journey, thanks for watching. <laughs>